So in this video, I'm going to talk about the osseous tissue matrix. And so the matrix of osseous tissue contains about a third of organic matter, and the rest, or the other two thirds, is composed of inorganic matter. So mostly it's composed of inorganic matter. The organic matter consists of collagen, carbohydrate protein complexes, for example, glycoaminoglycans, or also known as GAGs. And the organic matter also is composed of proteoglycans and glycoproteins. And so the organic matter is composed of a wide variety of things. On the other hand, you have inorganic matter, which is mostly the vast majority of inorganic matter is hydroxyapatite. This is also known as calcium phosphate salt that has been crystallized. And so that makes up 85% of the inorganic matter of osseous tissue. And then 10% is going to be calcium carbonate. And then the rest consists of other minerals such as potassium, sodium, and magnesium. One thing I forgot to mention with the organic matter is the organic matter is made by osteoblasts. And so one cool thing about bone is that it's a composite, which means it's made of two basic structural minerals. And so by doing this, bone combines the optimal mechanical properties of each element. So it combines the collagen with the crystallized calcium phosphate. And so as a result, you're going to have one portion that provides strength so the bone can support your body mass, while the other portion allows the bone a little bit of flexibility so it doesn't break as easily. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.